PWI. Is it worth it? We're gonna find that out in this video. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and what's happening to PWI nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a PWI gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. PWI is a tad target, Eastern Fantasy, MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors. GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is PWI? It stands for Perfect World International, and it's a tab target MMORPG with an Eastern fantasy theme. In PWI, you can create a character by choosing from six races, and each race has about two to three class each. You can also customize your character's appearance with a variety of sliders and presets that can truly make your character look unique. And at the beginning, the quest will guide you through the game's storyline, offering objectives and rewards upon completion. The main quest, side quest, and daily quest provide opportunities to gain experience, items, and progress in the game. And at the end game, like every other MMORPG, you will be working on gears and participating on PvE and PvP activities. Now going to PWI's website, they describe their game as a stunning free-to-play MMORPG where inhabitants of the pristine perfect world must unite to battle against the Wraith. One of the notable features of PWI is its diverse selection of classes. Players can choose from a range of classes including Blade Masters, Mages, Archers, Clerics, and Assassins, each with its unique set of abilities and roles in combat. This allows players to tailor their characters to their preferred playstyle, whether it be melee focused, magic wielding, or support oriented. Another significant aspect of PWI is its emphasis on PvP, player versus player combat. The game offers various PvP modes and opportunities for players to engage in battles against each other. You can duel, participate in PK, or the cross-server PvP faction battles. Now, PWI is released in China in July 2005, and it's developed by a company named Beijing Perfect World. They're the guys behind Jade Dynasty, Battle of the Immortals, Aether Saga Odyssey, Swordsman Online, and the 2010 MMO Forsaken World. After its regional release, it was then followed by the release in different regions. It received generally positive reception from players and critics alike, and the game garnered a sizable player base and has remained relevant after its release, until what's happening nowadays. And before we go to that, let's talk about the monetization. Perfect World International is a free-to-play MMO, and as a free-to-play game, PWI generates revenue through various monetization strategies. The game offers an item mall where players can purchase virtual items like cosmetics, upgrade items to enhance your equipment, and your typical convenience items like healing talisman, storage, teleportation items, and stat resets. You can buy all those using real-world currency. Now, here's an update on what's happening to PWI nowadays. In terms of update, it's doing great. Their last update was the Divine Fury update and it included a whole host of content like graphics upgrade, faction system updates, new instance bosses, and new events providing opportunities to earn rewards. So there it goes, it's still being updated. But it's not the main thing happening in the perfect world universe, whatever you want to call it. Because there's an upcoming new perfect world game called Perfect New World. It will feature pretty much the same systems PWI had but it will be made in Unreal Engine. So yeah, this might interfere with the future updates of PWI because we all know what happens when a developer has a new game. Now, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the character creation. We got the races over here, the humans. If we're a human, we can be a blade master, a wizard, or a technician. If we're an untamed, this is a race guys. We can be a Barbarian, a Wild Walker, or a Venomancer. The next race over here is the Winged. We can be an Edge Runner, a Cleric, or a regular Archer. Next race is the Tideborn. We can be a Psychic or an Assassin. Next race is Earth Guard. The classes over here are the Seekers and the Mystic. And last race is the Nightshade. I think this is a Nightshade. Nightshad? Oh yeah, it's Nightshade. Now, if we're a Nightshade, we can be a Duskblade or Stormbringer. We're gonna play as a Stormbringer. Select class. And why are you so thin? Okay, here's the character customization, guys. We got the body presets over here. Let's select them. Okay, now she's proper. Okay, so let's select this one. Now face. Is this presets too? 
I think so. But there are sliders over here. What? Look at this. <laughs> our head. What's happening to our head? Okay, let's try it out. Middle? What is this middle? <laughs> Lower? Oh, look at this. You can really make your character look very odd and unique. <laughs> now, forehead. Horizontal movement. What? Vertical movement. Depth. Rotate. And size. Okay, now, cheekbone. Wow. Vertical movement. Depth. Rotate. How about cheek? Wow, look at this. <laughs> the cheek of our character. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Vertical movement. What? Holy cow, look at this. What's happening to the cheeks? How about chin? Vertical? <laughs> now size. Man, this is pretty odd. Okay, I guess you can truly make your character very unique this way. Now jaw. Horizontal. Okay. Now ears. Ah, there it goes. The ears doesn't have slider, so you cannot mess up your ears. There goes the ears. Now proportion. Vertical. Oh, look at this. We can make our head real big and real thin. Now vertical. What? <laughs> What's happening to our character? Now eyebrows. Okay, there's no sliders for the eyebrows. How about the eye bag? Okay, most of it doesn't have a slider except for the, what is this, adjustment. What? <laughs> look at the eyes. Look at this. Okay, so how about eyebrows? Again, adjustment. Let's move on to the nose. Okay, there's no sliders for the nose. Oh, there's no step. Okay, there goes the sliders. What? Look at this. Now bridge. Let's leave it at that. Now mouth. Okay, so we're lingering too long in here. Now the makeup customization. There's a lot of makeup customization over here. And we're not gonna delve too deep on that. Now the hairstyles. How many hairstyles? There's only four hairstyles and there's question mark over here. I don't know what this is all about. But they are also hairstyles. It kind of looked messed up though because of the shape of our head. <laughs> okay, now body. Our body looks good though. Okay, now head slider. What? Okay, so this is the slider to make our head really big. Now torso. Okay, we can really make everything big. Okay, let's max everything out. What's gonna happen? Feet and then bust. <laughs> Should we play like this? I don't wanna play like this. Let's go back to the presets. <laughs> Let's name our character. Complete. And we are in the game. What's happening here? Look at our foot, guys. I think we forgot to customize our foot. <laughs> We're big foot. Okay, anyway, this works. Controls, guys. We can move with WASD and we can also click to move. We can rotate the camera by holding the right mouse button. Can we jump? Oh yes, we can jump and it's very floaty. Can we double jump and do acrobatics? Oh yes, we can double jump, but I don't consider this as acrobatics. Okay, anyway, look at the graphics. This is still fine. I don't consider this as getting that old. This is still very playable in terms of graphics. Okay, so opening our bag. How do we open up our bag? I? Pressing I? Nope. B? Okay, B to open up the inventory. Legacy Garden Charm. If I remember correctly, this is some kind of a potion. Let's just wear it. Wear everything. That's everything we have. We don't have any money. So, quest. Okay, guys. Let me just tell you guys a little bit of a leveling guide. I played this, I don't know, 2019, 2020. It's been a while. I don't remember much, but I do remember looking for a way to level up very fast. And eventually, I just ended up just doing quests. So, if I were you, just do the quest. And when you reach around level 20, you need to prioritize the red quest and the other one. I think it's called... It's the stones. I apologize. I forgot the name. Okay, anyway, let's do the quest, guys. Nightshade Guide. Get a quest from this one. Now let's talk to Sekron Shen. Okay, now this quest line over here. Look at this. People playing, guys. Oh, yes. If you're going to play this game, check it out. Go play at the US West. Well, if the ping is good, I'm recommending the US West because... There's a lot more people there. The European server, there's not that much. And also the other one. There's another server, I forgot. But I checked everything and the US West has more players. Okay, so I don't know if this is US West, by the way, I forgot. <laughs> I just selected something. Okay, let's talk to the second Shien. Give us a quest, bro. This quest line over here will give us gears, if I remember correctly. We just talk to NPCs and we're gonna level up and they're gonna give us... Hey, what's happening there? I accidentally attack a monster. Turn over the quest. Get another quest. Now let's talk to the senior scribe. Piece of cake. So as I've said guys, just do the quest. Don't do grind only because it's gonna take too long. I don't know. Maybe some things will change. 
or something I don't know. You can maybe approach this grind only if you know something. But when I played this, questing is better. Just do the quest. Okay, let's keep taking the quest over here. Essence of Purity. I remember this. <laughs> this is the star monster. We just need to defeat one of these star monsters over here. And we got the Essence of Purity. Use the skill. As you can see, guys, combat is tab target. And for some reason, we can move while attacking. I don't know if this is lag or what. Can we cancel the casting? Okay, let's try canceling the casting. Press the attack. Let's move. Oh, okay. This game is still somewhat active, guys. And now this next quest over here is very important, guys. You gotta do this because this is gonna give you the armors quest related. For example, like this one. Talk to this NPC over here. It's gonna make you select a weapon. It's gonna make you select a reward. So take the reward that you can equip. Man, <laughs> our character. What happened to our character? It's a Bigfoot. Where's the item? There it goes. Let's see if we're changing appearance if we equip the armor. There it goes. We're changing appearance when we're equipping the armor. Okay, talk to the other NPC. I'm gonna talk to all of this NPC over here. Basically, this NPCs that I'm going to talk to, this one's over here, apothecary, tailor, craftsman, and merchant, they're gonna give me equipments like this one. And at the end, if I remember correctly, that guy, that Cyclon Shen, he's gonna give me a new weapon. So, there he goes. If you're going to play this game, just follow the quest line. And of course, make friends, guys. Getting to level 30 is very quick. And I forgot what you need to do. Even up to level 55 because there are, what do you call that? I think hyper stones in here that's gonna help you level up faster. You just get a friend, get them to explain it to you. <laughs> oh my bad, it's been a while. Okay, so for the final equipment quest, this guy over here is gonna give us a weapon. Over here, the sight, done. Okay, let's close up with our character and then equip all the things that we got. Bad, this, this, and the weapon. Okay, we're now cool, except for our foot. <laughs> What's happening to our foot, man? Okay, so just follow the quest, guys. Keep taking quests for these NPCs, and you're gonna level up really fast. And that's PWI in 2023. Honestly, with the upcoming new game, it could make the future PWI cloudy. But look at the bright side. What's important is the game is still here. There's no announcement of the game being shut down. And guys, do you want to see the latest free-to-play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.